What's up? Welcome back. As you can see, things look a little different than normal. We got a different setup going. Normally I run at 4K at 24 frames a second, but a lot of you have asked for higher frame rates. Unfortunately, the camera I got can only do so much. Rip. So we're gonna run at 1080p at 60, and you guys let me know what you like better. Also, we're kinda gonna go run and gun today. There's not really a plan. I got an idea of what I wanna do based on what you guys wanna see. And then we're gonna talk about this card, because it's a real bummer that it doesn't work. And I know that you guys want to see it tested. I want to see it tested. Everybody wants to see it tested. So I did reach out to EVGA and I said, hey, um, I shorted out my, my header here. Um, is there any advice or things I should look for if I want to try to fix it? And they're like, you know what? Take a picture of the PCB board, um, send it to us, and we'll see if we can get you set up for an RMA. And that's what we're going to do. Hopefully they say yes. Uh, so we're going to take this apart, set it back to what it's supposed to be, take some pictures of it, send those out to EVGA. Hope for the best, because if they say no, then we're gonna just try to fix it ourselves, but hopefully that doesn't come to that. Next though, we're gonna talk about an idea that I've thought about in the past, and you guys have commented many times down below, and I think it's time we do something to test it out, and that is air cooling in a case. So you all know that when you are when you got an air cooler in a case that's all closed up, you're basically sucking in all the hot air in the case and blowing it through your heat sink and trying to cool down your CPU. But you guys have wondered, and I have too, once if you basically built a duct from your front intake fan directly to your CPU cooler, would that give you cooler temperatures because you're not basically pulling in any of that hot air in the case, you're running air from only outside directly through that cooler and then uh, right out the case, does that help? Does it not? Does it really matter? I mean, because you got fans always blowing air into your case, but I don't know, we'll try it out. We're gonna go through the whole process of Designing something and getting it all printed out, put it together, test uh, basically an air cooler uh, normally, and then we're gonna test with uh, ductwork and see if we made things better, worse, or didn't matter at all. So we'll do that next. But first, let's take this apart, see what we're dealing with, and hope for the best on this one. Okay, that's done. Um, as you can see from these pictures I took, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any burns or scorch marks or X. I mean, everything looks normal, obviously. Uh, things aren't because it doesn't work. So we'll send those off to EVGA, hope for the best, and maybe they'll come through on the clutch. I'm hoping. Okay, to run this test, we need to take everything off this test bench, put it into a case. I'm gonna use my S340 Elite since it's just sitting empty. And we'll use the Mugan 5. I'm gonna use this one because it's basically just a square air cooler should be easy to design around and there you go so we got it all back together now is it the best performing pc no is it is it good to look at no. Is it outdated? Severely. But all it's got to do is make some heat, and I know it can do that, so we'll get it all set up. We'll turn it on. We'll run a GPU and CPU stress test for about an hour or so and see what we our temperatures level off at, get the inside of the case all warm. I am using the, uh, the Mugan 3 Revision B cooler with its stock fan and then um, the four intakes. So you've got your two intakes and two exhaust are all the A12 X25, so keeping all the fans the same. And we're just gonna run it, just let it get nice and toasty inside, see what we score, and then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna connect this fan to this fan to make a nice duct from the intake to the exhaut. And this this case, the S340 Elite, it's not really known for the best airflow, so hopefully we'll get a, a good representation of if this is something that actually does anything. So let's get it hooked up, get it running, and figure out how to make that duct.
Okay, so we are back. Everything's printed out. We got our brackets here, and the idea is that these guys are going to mount on our 120 millimeter fans, and they got a little bit of an offset in them to get us up over the RAM. Um, I, I have a set of RAM that I took the heat sinks off, so they're shorter, but up and over the RAM, and then across to the fan that's on the front of our case. Uh, I assume that we're going to have to take that um, cover that's off there. I don't think this is going to get up and around it. And then we're going to get it set up, run it for another hour, um, GPU and CPU stress test, and the scores we're going to try to beat are an average of 72.9 degrees and a max of 81 degrees Celsius. And the GPU was 86, but it doesn't really matter, it's a blower card. So other than that, the room temperature was 23.5. So let's get this set up while we'll run it again and see if direct ducting our air into our tower cooler is going to be beneficial at all. Okay, so the scores are in, it's been an hour. What do you think happened? Do you think we did it, beat it, nah, maybe? Well, surprisingly, the max temperatures this go around were only 79 degrees and we show an average package temperature of 70.3, meaning yeah, we did a better job. And it doesn't stop there because this morning when I ran the stock test, our room temperatures were slightly cooler at 23.5, whereas now at the end of this test, they were 25.3, meaning we have a delta for the normal configuration of 49.4 and a delta for this ducted doodad a 45 meaning we got cooler temperatures in a warmer environment so all in all yeah this this worked at least at least in my setup this actually performed pretty darn well and if you think about it this is like the worst possible setup for something like this i mean we got a blower car which is pushing most of the heat out of the case the s340 elite is not known for being the best front airflow case so i'm thinking if we had this in like in the gambius and we had like the 1080 if it ever gets fixed please that we'd actually see a bigger discrepancy between the normal configuration and the, like the ducted setup. So I think there's even more gains to be had. However, in the end it works and it doesn't really look that bad. I mean, if you even spent some more time hard ducting it, it actually looked pretty good. So if you guys want any of these models, I'll put them on my Thingiverse account so you guys can download them, print them out, test them out, see if you like them. And as always, if you guys have any more good ideas like this one, make sure to leave a comment down below. That's where I found this idea. And I'll be looking for some new content in the, for the channel down below. So if you got anything, make sure you leave it there. And we'll see you next time.